Hello, this is Robert, and in this video I'm going to explain these new um, charts that we have in Pulse. And um, their purpose is really to allow you to give better after-action review, better feedback to the training audience about how they affected sentiment among different target audiences um, during the course of the exercise. So everything begins um, in the design phase. So when you're setting up your project, you'll need to pay attention to factions, disposition, tags. Uh, this is you know, what we would call human terrain modeling. It's where you do your stakeholder analysis or target audience analysis. And then when you move into the execute phase, what's going to happen is there'll be an event and obviously this is by design because um, it's your exercise, and you ought to have been thinking about what sentiment among your target audiences this event will provoke. So this gives you your start state. What then happens is that the audience will start to try to make sense of the environment. They'll try to understand um, the audience uh, sentiment, and then they will react. So they will either do something or they won't do something, um, either way, after this kind of uh, period, uh, exercise control will then assess what they did or didn't do. So this could um, be a qualitative analysis of their messaging. Um, you know, what is it they're trying to achieve? Did they use um, the right images or videos um, and such like? And then you in exercise control will predict the change of activity among these different audience groups. So then we see the stakeholder reaction or the target audience reaction, and this will give rise to a change in sentiment. So this change in sentiment is then communicated back to the training audience through the fact that the um, environment has changed, and then they will need to understand again, and they go through this, they either act or they don't act, and you go back through this, you go back through this loop. So it's important to appreciate that um, there is no predicted um, outcome of the sent, you know, a predicted sentiment. It's important that there's a subject matter expert or experts who are able to assess what the training audience are doing, and then provide stakeholder reaction. And in conductors' world, we're not expecting that audiences will shift their disposition um, during the during the course of the exercise. What we expect is that the volume of their activity will rise or fall based on um, basically whether they're, whether they're triggered or not. So when you set up your project um, in the scenario editor, you've got these fields, faction, affiliation, A3E, disposition, and tags. Use these in order to be able to sort of segment your audience and look for the uh, the after action review features that you that that will illustrate your point or that will provide feedback to the to the audience. So I've got two groups. They're both in public. So these will both be called uh, both in the public faction. But I've got a pro um, public group and an anti public group. And I've created stacks for these people. Um, the pros are in this case praising the company, and the anti faction or the, sorry the, the those members of the public tagged with anti will um, express dissatisfaction so this is how it looks on the left hand side here I've got pulse and um, I've set up the um, widgets but there's no data currently and on the right hand side um, I'm in the facilitator dashboard so this is what the players will see and this is what we will see as uh, exercise control. So I'm going to just start off with um, some praise for the company. So I'm running um, this pattern of life and you can see your think Fairfield, uh, Fair Path are doing a great job. And if I refresh Pulse, so we get some early information in um, the public. Remember I'm looking at faction here. The public is sort of positive so far. Um, there's only been one piece of content. This is the volume. This is the pie. So no breakdown and no engagement. So engagement comes if I like a post or um, if I retweet it or something like this. So currently, it's a bit of a one-sided match. So this this might be the start state. And then let's say the training audience do something. 
and this motivates some anger. And I'm going to do this slightly faster. So whereas praise for the company was going out every one every 15 seconds, I've changed uh, anger at company to one every 10 seconds. And in the uh, Twitter feed, we can see that people have started to be a little bit more negative. I'm going to refresh the Pulse dashboard. And so now I start to see um, pro versus anti, what the share of uh, activity is. I can see activity by time of day. And it looks like they're kind of netting each other off. So at the moment, um, they're kind of neck and neck. So far, no engagement. No one's liked any of these posts. Let's refresh this. So it's gone quite negative. Um, and this is, um, in this case, it's most likely because the um, negative, the members of the public who are in the anti-tagged uh, group are strongly negative. So they, their disposition is much more likely to be minus five, minus four, whereas the pros are um, much more likely to be sort of one or two. So even though I've got less content in this case, then... Um, so here we see anti coming out. It's not really affecting the overall public disposition. I'm going to stop the anti. Actually, I'll just stop both. Okay, now let's um, let's give one of these uh, just unsubscribed. Right. So let's say I'm using the uh, spoof engagement here. So I'm going to increase this by three likes. So they've got three likes. I'm going to refresh this and we'll see on the engagement. So now engagement, so the anti-engagement, the, the, the engagement on the anti-group has gone up by three. Currently they're sort of neck and neck, 10 versus 10 on volume of content. I'm just leaving it a little bit before I start the praise again. See if they can pull this back. I'm going to change this to five seconds. Four seconds. So now a lot more content coming out. Shouldn't get involved in politics. I'm going to retweet this one. And let's have a look. So now we see, uh, on engagement at least, the pros making a comeback, um, and for that period, it's gone positive. So we started off okay, it went negative, and now it's gone up positive again. We can see that there are now more pro people tweeting. And of course, the training audience can't see this initially. All they can see is what's happening in the, um, in the feed. Now, one of the things they could do, of course, is use their social watch. They could be listening for Fairpath. Fairpath will walk out. So they could be using this. Now this, um, this negative or positive is largely based on the text of what they're saying. The, the sentiment analysis here doesn't know, um, you know, it doesn't know the relationship of the, of the audience to um, the training audience. It's only analysing the text. So it might be that even people in your favour are coming out with a lot of negative Word. So it's still not, not be great for the company. But the thing is to go in and look at what's going on here. Uh, of course, all of this can actually be faked. So if it's important, um, rather than allow the automated system to come up with negative, you can actually change this to make these all positive. That would be another way to sort of give them some easy uh, feedback. I'm going to stop that. I'm going to refresh this. So now what we see is continued period of positive, a lot more content, a lot more content now. Let's do a bit more negative. And what will happen is, so at the moment this is all in minutes, but if you were to change this, so you just get it for the day, you know, you get it by the hour. So here for overall, for, for the first hour of the day, 
it's looking kind of fairly positive. But when we break it down, we can see how it's changed. So there you have it. So quite a good tool for looking at how sentiment changed. And it's a way to feed back to the audience, to the training audience later, um, how the environment was manipulated based on, based on the things that they did.